Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope everyone is doing well today. Today we are taking a look at molar volume and mass. Um, so right up top, we have some information on molar volume. Molar volume is going to be another key word that you guys have to remember. Uh, molar volume means that the volume of is the volume of one mole of gas. Um, so whenever you see the word molar volume, we know that we're talking about one mole. So whenever you see molar volume in a problem, you always know that n equals 1. Um, so think about that when you're answering question 1. Uh, question 2. Question 2 is um, the first kind of problem that uh, we're looking at. So whenever you see the word molar volume in a problem, um, we always remember n equals 1. So when I'm listing my variables, we see n equals 1. If we keep reading, we have the pressure, temperature, um, and a volume. Remember, r is always 8.31. Um, so whenever you see a problem like this with molar volume, we're still going to use the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT. So then once you um, can plug your values in, so plug in 120 for P, V is our variable, so we leave it. We know N equals 1. We know R is 8.31. And then lastly, temperature is 311. Remember, guys, any temperature you need to convert to Kelvin. Kelvin's always equal 273 plus your degree Celsius. So that's how I got 311. Um, to solve, divide both sides by 120, so we can get V alone. Uh, once V is alone, you find that it is 21.54 liters. Um, so guys, um, each, uh, each problem down here, um, we are practicing with the molar volume. So again, you see molar volume here, molar volume there. Um, so again, identify your variables, and then plug them in and solve. Uh, again, question five, same kind of thing, keyword molar volume. Um, so now we are using the gas law to calculate molar mass. Um, everyone should take, a, take some time and read this. Um, it tells you, it explains how to rearrange um, the formula. Uh, when the formula is rearranged, the new formula, uh, MVP equals MRT. I know there's two M's in there, but remember, um, there is a big M. Big M is the molar mass. This is always the mass from the periodic table. Little m is the actual mass. This is either you're either going to have to calculate this or they're going to give it to you in the problem. Um, so remember, this is the ideal gas law, and I call it V2 for version 2. So in the first problem, uh, oh, and then remember, any time for this one, MVP equals MRT, your keyword is molar mass. Um, so when I come down here and I read this problem, um, I see 128 grams. Remember, grams tell you a mass, so that could also give it away. Um, but the real, the key word is molar mass. When you see molar mass, it tells us M, big M, VP equals little m, RT. Um, yeah, so then we plug in our values after we identify all of them. Remember, guys, um, temperature needs to be in Kelvin, so that's what you see me do right here. And then R is always 8.31. That is something you're going to have to remember. So then once we plug our values in, um, big M is our variable, volume 21.5, um, pressure 132, uh, little m 128, R is 8.31, and the temperature is 318. So again, to solve this, you're going to have to get M alone, so divide both sides by 20, both sides by 21.5 times 132. Uh, when you solve this, you find that the molar mass is 119.19 grams per mole. Um, so again, uh, seven, seven is um, the same kind of problem. Um, so identify your variables, figure out which version of, of the ideal gas law you need to use, and then solve. Um, so I think a lot of people figured out, I did put these in the wrong order when I asked you to staple them. This was the real last page, um, but I had told people they can cross it off once I realized that it was out of order. So this is what your last page looks like. Um, you should be able to answer every problem on here. Every question on here is a review problem. Um, these problems will come from uh, gases and moles ChemQuest and the gas equations ChemQuest. So when you're solving these guys, remember, identify your key words, uh, list your variables, and then solve using the correct gas law. Remember, guys, if you have any questions, Please um, circle them right down your question and bring it to class. Hope everyone has a good day.